everybody. So, bit of a funny video today. Was hoping it would be a super, super happy video. But there's a lot going on and I have a lot of emotions right now. Room's a mess. I'm a mess. I didn't sleep well last night. I've been very upset over some things. But there are lots of good things to talk about as well. So, trying to get, trying to get my head around everything and got lots to update you on. Um, but today marks three months since we arrived in the UK. Um, yeah, I stayed up quite late last night making a little TikTok video montage of me and Adam, um, which I can't share on here because the video will get banned because of the music, but if you're on TikTok, go and head over and check it out. Um, so yeah, we've been here three months today and things have started opening up again recently and we've been able to see um, some of our friends and things. I haven't filmed all our meetings with friends, but I have filmed some of them, so I will insert those clips. Yeah, so I can show the it's 2 a.m. <laughs> and I can't fall asleep Cause I'm not tired I'm thinking about the days we used to shine When we were young I told you that we should start a band And reach for the sky It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep I'm just not tired I can hear the raindrops falling It's cold outside And I kind of feel like calling But it's too late now I just miss you I just miss you Such a constellation right? No you to great Made a reputation for ourselves at age 18 We had the devil on our shoulders telling us what we should do I wonder if you think about me too I can hear the So yeah, it's been really nice starting to see all our friends, um, or my friends mostly, but they are all so wonderful with Adam. Um, and yesterday was a really nice day as well. And Adam went for his first ever play date with a new friend that he's made at school. So I went with him as well. We went over to their place and he had the absolute time of his life. Um, the family are lovely and they've also got lots of land. So Adam was playing on like electric police motorbikes. He went on a ride on a quad bike. He went in a tractor. Um, yeah, so he thoroughly enjoyed that and that was lovely. Um, so lots of positive things there. I haven't got any pictures. Well, I have got pictures and videos of that, but I don't want to share it because, um, yeah, I can't really share other people's children on here. Um, oh, I can't get over how bad they look. So that was really nice. And then today we're going to my friend Olivia's this morning for a brunch in her garden. And then we're meeting up with someone else that Adam's made friends with at school um, for a walk. Um, so that's all positive and I'm going to film all that today. Um, a bit later today I'll explain to you what's bringing me lots of stress. In brief, one of the kids in Uganda is very, very sick. One of the children we support um, and is bringing me a lot of stress. And I've been crying a lot over it. Even my mum's been crying over it. Um, and I'm very, very worried about it. But I will explain all that later because if I try and do it now, I will cry again and I'm trying to do my makeup. So, yeah, I will finish getting ready and then we're going to head to my friend Olivia's. We're just scaling onto Olivia's wall. We keep doing this. Is this all right? We're breaking in. Can you let me in? Oh. I can't take your stone out. Oh. Because it's very hard. Oh, so you're leaving me here? I've actually been left. Consent to being in my videos. Can you please? Or oh, do you well, consent to being in YouTube videos? Sorry, on Emily's page. Sorry. <laughs> 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 You've been asked to be fair. I know it makes more sense. You can have like two in a double. No, it's fine. I'm chill. <laughs> so, have you had a nice week, Emily? Yeah. Yeah. 
Herbie, no. So we just finished at Auntie Olivia's and now we're at a nature reserve where we're waiting for Adam's school friend and his family to come so we can go on a little walk, aren't we? Can go until my friends come. Yeah, we're waiting for them, aren't we? Uh-huh. Excited to go on a walk? If we walk away, then, 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 then my sister, they will not see, Your then sister. my sister, they will not see where we are. They will not yeah, see. Yeah, we're, we're that's why we're waiting in the car so we can see when they turn up, yeah? So we're home now. We're home. Yeah. Open the Granddad's, door for me. Granddad's there. The weather's suddenly changed. We had a lovely walk in the sunshine. And now it's raining. Granddad, open the door. You're released. Stop. Yeah, it's Stop. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah, you don't want to be filmed, do you? Adam? Adam, where are you? Somewhere. <laughs> Adam and Adam! We want to watch the football, don't we? We don't want to be filmed. Adam! <laughs> Hi guys, so we're back now. I didn't really film during the walk that we had with um, Adam's friend from school and his family. Um, but it was really, really lovely. Um, I was, yeah. I'm not in the best of moods today so I, I wasn't really sure how it was going to go because I wasn't really feeling like socialising but they were absolutely lovely and it was really nice and I enjoyed our morning at my friend's house as well even if I cried to my poor friend so I thought I'd sit down now and explain why I'm really upset and in a funny mood and looking really rough um yeah not very good I'm a very emotional person so when I'm feeling sad or worried or whatever I just really struggle my brain just doesn't work properly maybe that happens to everyone anyway basically one of the kids um as I said earlier one of the kids um that we support through Cedar is really really sick his name is Dan so for any of you that do follow along the work we do with Cedar you'd probably recognize him as he um is somehow unusual looking he doesn't have hair um and things um, and basically, a few days ago, well, about a week ago, he was diagnosed with malaria and given malaria medicine. And since then, he's been really sick. His whole body is swollen up and he's really, really ill. And Josh has been with him, like, non-stop, trying to go to hospitals and things. And he ended up rushing him to Kampala yesterday and he is now in intensive care. And it's looking like he may have, like, chronic kidney disease. And I have this awful feeling he may have had this all along because um yeah and just it been undetected now when he when i first went to uganda before adam was born i was actually looking after dan um as he was really quite sick so i used to take him to doctor's appointments and they just told me it was a side effect of um, him being malnourished when young and i now wonder if they were wrong and he had kidney problems back then which have now suddenly got really really bad because I've been looking it up and sometimes you don't get really, really bad symptoms until like you've lost like 80% function or something, kidney function. Anyway, he's in intensive care in Kampala. We're waiting for more results and a way forward. But I'm really worried and I'm really scared and I feel really far away. And he is the loveliest, most amazing little boy ever. He is so cheeky and so smart and so oh he's so stubborn he always has been like if you speak to anyone that's come out to Uganda to visit me it's Dan they very distinctly remember everyone knows Dan and everyone loves Dan um and I just feel like I'm really worried because if it is chronic kidney disease and he needs like a new kidney or something they can't do that in Uganda and it's hundreds of thousands of pounds to take him elsewhere and I'm scared that I'm not going to be able to raise that for him but I feel like I'm the only person that had a chance and the only person that's going to really try. So I'm going to try. I don't really know right now, but he's in intensive care and we already need to raise some, a couple of thousands of pounds. Um, and yeah, so this is... Oh 
God. This is a problem with, I don't know, I guess I have always loved very deeply and I love these kids so much and like I think they're worth m however they're not their lives are not, don't have a price and um, so I'm going to do all I can to do what we can for him but I'm just worried that I'm not going to manage and he's in pain and he's in the hospital and it's just really hard anyway just wanted to let you know that's what's going on but also lots of you may be willing to donate towards it or maybe able to spread the word so hopefully by the time I get this up um well definitely I'll have a fundraising page up for him and maybe more of an idea what's gone on so I'm going to link that down below I could really do with your help I need everyone's help I don't know what to do it's weighing very heavily on me but anyway that's what I'm going to be doing now I'm going to be setting up a fundraising page and yeah starting to sort things like that out because so we can do what we can to save Dan. Um, yeah. Adam's downstairs with my brother, as you would have seen before. What's really weird is when I woke up this morning, I haven't even spoken about Dan to him. And when I woke up this morning, Adam just woke up next to me and said, I miss Dan. Like, I love Dan. Dan's my best friend because he always gets on so well with Dan. They're a little bit similar in some ways, sort of like the two boys are always climbing trees and things. Um, yeah. And that hurt my heart a lot as well. Anyway, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop trying to cry at you all. Um, but that is the situation at the moment. So I'm going to sit on the computer now and get started on trying to get some money to get him better. Actually, it's now afternoon on Sunday. Um, I stopped filming yesterday. I was just, oh, I was not in a very good place emotionally. I ended up making the fundraising page for Dam, applying for text donations and all these things, and then, yeah, and then heading to bed shortly after. This morning, we had a really long lie-in. Adam slept in really late. And then I've just had a two hour long Zoom meeting with a lovely lady who is helping me out with YouTube. Um, so I did that, and now, I'm actually heading out with my brother and Adam and we're taking Adam out on his scooter for the first time because he's got a helmet now. So we're heading out to a park um, about 20 minutes away to do that. Um, things in Uganda are not great, I won't lie. I'm trying to remain a little bit positive today because, yeah, we just need to try and raise the money and make sure Dan gets better. But they're not great. Um, yeah. I'll update you a bit more on that later again. For now, yeah, we're going to go out with Adam and get some nice fresh air. Adam, you happy? No, we can see them. Oh, what are you eating, Adam? Say McDonald's! Oh, McDonald's had that fun. He did, didn't he? 
so just got back and in good time because now I can't work out if it's raining or snowing which I think means it's sleep. I just don't understand what's going on with this weather because it's going through like yeah it was snowing earlier it's been really sunny now I don't know what it is rain um yeah the weather is just very unusual um but yeah we just went out for a little while um Adam is I don't know a little reluctant to learn how to scoot properly scooter properly scoot properly um but gets frustrated when he can't do it very well um so he was a little bit grumpy for that trip but it was really nice out and where we went was really lovely I've not been there before um yeah we've definitely had a nicer day than they're having in Uganda um so I thought I'd just pass you over to Josh for a little bit to see what's going on there hi everyone so it has been a very busy week very bad one and my dad was sick Dan is sick very very sick admitted in IHK so I managed to get Danny's grand mother and she's accompanying me to the hospital so that we can see what is going on. I'm going back to the hospital right now. So I've just finished at the hospital and it has been a long day and I'm going to go up and check on Dan and see what situation he is so here is Waiswa, one of our as the one who has been attending to Dan. So hello everyone, so it may be dark, but I'm trying to explain how the day has been has been. So we woke up very early in the morning and went to Bujiri where Danny's relatives stay and that's the grandmother. And we tried to look around, it was very hard to find her, but finally we found her and she accompanied me to the hospital. And now I've checked on Dan and they have taken some blood and they are going to do some tests. The test has to be sent in South Africa. So they will take seven days. So they are giving some treatment. The treatment is for, because he has a problem with the kidney. So he has too much water in the body. So they are trying to give him medicine for that. And the pressure is high. So they are trying also to treat the pressure as we wait for the medicine for the tests is not in a great condition so that's what we are waiting for we are waiting for the results from South Africa they are going to take seven days and then when they come that's when we will know what's exactly wrong with Dan so as it stands um Dan is not very well um, and he's still in intensive care. Um, Dan's grandmother is now there too. Um, Josh found it really hard to find her and track her down. So um, she's there too. Um, yeah, Dan's not in a great way at all and we're not going to get the proper results for a week because they've had to send um, like his samples off to South Africa. So it's rather stressful. I'm trying not to stress too much over it because it did... I don't know it was taking over I haven't I didn't sleep very well last night or the night before and I know that's not helpful um, because all I can do is try so hard to raise the money to make sure we get down better um, and not just spend my time crying and stressed so the rest of today I'm going to be sharing the fundraiser and anything to do with that I'm going to be editing and getting this video up I've got to walk the dog as well even though the weather's suddenly taking a turn for the worse um, and I'm going to tidy and clean my room and that's about it and then I'm working again tomorrow so I'm going to leave this video here. Please, please, please check out our Just Giving page. I'm going to link it below. Um, little Dan is just the loveliest, most special little character. And, like, he just, he deserves to live. And we need a lot of money to ensure that he does. Um, yeah. 
So even if you're not able to donate, you might be able to share. Or I'm going to be starting to think of different ways that maybe people can join in with like fundraisers and things or making Get Well Soon posters. So I will keep you updated. Um, yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe and comment down below. And we will see you again next time. Thank you. Bye.